Good morning, everyone. Um, we're sitting or standing? Sitting? We should probably we sit. We can sit. Yeah. Um, so I'm Rob. I'm a partner at Balderton Capital. Uh, our target is to be the leading Series A tech VC who are focused entirely on great European tech companies. Uh, so that's what we aim towards. We think we're pretty close. Um, we've been going 20 years, uh, half a dozen billion dollar plus exits, another half a dozen billion dollar plus companies, uh, including Revolut, the Hutt Group, and others. Um, and we want to continue building that. Uh, and I spent quite a lot of time here in Berlin, was on the board of Wuga, uh, the games company. We had our closing dinner last night with Jens Begerman, um, companies required, and one of the biggest Berlin exits, I think, um, uh, late last year. So that's me. I'd like to introduce Nico. Nico is probably the, uh, the smartest guy in our portfolio, uh, has a PhD <laughs> from LSC, uh, founded Dahlia what, five years ago, uh, and has delivered some really impressive uh, stuff. We were lucky enough to invest uh, late 2016, uh, Series A, uh, and it's been an incredible growth story since then. So we'd love to hear a bit more. Very good. Yeah. Thanks for, thanks for the intro, Rob. What we do, we've built a gateway to what people around the world think, what they feel, what they plan. So anything that you couldn't passively read from the internet, anything that comes with decisions, preferences, all these kinds of things, commonly described as uh, consumer insight, market research, but also opinion polling, any of these things. We've built an engine that leverages the billions of smartphone users out there, mm -hmm. um, builds on something similar to an ad tech RTB stack to really attribute questions to specific people to get insights that you couldn't produce in any other form. So here are some, some, some stats that you see. We cover over 100 countries, all from Berlin. Uh, we've had almost 50 million people, individuals, answering questions, and we collected a total of over 6 billion uh, answers uh, so far Six since billion. we started. Not bad. Six billion individual answers on anything from whether people plan to buy yogurt to mm -hmm. whether they vote for a certain party, yeah. uh, what the prices are of different things, whether they know a brand, yeah, yeah, anything yeah, yeah. that you can imagine, That's really. Well, I remember from your sort of demo three years ago was just the speed you could do it. You could just spark it up and have results within, what, 30 seconds? We, yeah, and actually it's, it's a bit sad. We tried to showcase this here, but then we didn't get the video to work in the presentation. So this is just a static picture, but you can come speak uh, to us afterwards. Or you can also visit our website where we have a, a live tracking of how the system works. So here you see a little image, uh, and this is just a screen sc uh, screenshot from, from uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, where people answer, and you see, you know, India, Europe, you can zoom in to city level, you can see where the people are, what they answer, um, you know, their basic demographics, their preferences, all these kinds of things. It's, it's, it's really quite powerful. You can, you can yeah. check it out on our website. Yeah. I think the key thing is you, you remove the concept of a panel. Mm -hmm. uh, almost everyone else goes off and builds a panel. It's expensive to build. It's not representative. It's hard to maintain, whereas you are the world, right? It's, the, it's the three it's, billion who actually use the internet. It's massive. It's, it's massive. The opportunities you have to, to kind of reach people uh, there and to build something on top of it is, is just mind, mind boggling. I mean, yeah. this is really so incredibly powerful information that you can, that you can generate there through cool. uh, asking people questions. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Very impressive. So I think, yeah, you have a new product you wanted to talk about. We just, about. Launched, yeah. um, we just launched a couple of weeks ago uh, a brand analytics solution that is uh, super exciting where we leverage this huge power to not just ask a few hundred uh, or a thousand people, but to ask you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, uh, use that data to model um, uh, perceptions uh, of brands and other things and to really drill down into very niche target groups that you couldn't get through any other way right now. Uh, so, for example, the, the, the woman who buys uh, razors uh, for their husband um, has a certain income, is in Berlin or London for that matter. You don't know how your, how your marketing activities affect on that, on that brand. So with this tool, uh, this, this, is, this is brand new. Uh, it's very disruptive. You can start doing these things that you, that you previously just couldn't do. There were no solutions for this. Uh, so we launched this a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. We're actually right now, as we speak, tracking, I think, almost all of the brands who are here at NOAA. 
um, and we'll publish uh, some results on that and, and reach out. It's, it's very powerful what, what you can do. So this is going on right now in wherever markets they, they operate. Fantastic. Does that include Bulletin Capital? How are we uh, faring? It does. It it covers for now all consumer oh, okay. uh, right. yeah, consumer businesses. Yeah. Um, right. So uh, and then this is this is a self serve tool that anyone here can sign up for. It's, it's a self serve tool. You can get access. You can check it out. There's a there's a demo. You can you can explore it. It's a SaaS type of uh, solution which is quite new in the space. Also, uh, previously was you go to an agency, you pay a few hundred thousand or even millions of euros for a solution that would deliver the data to you a month after yep. things yeah, happened yeah, yeah. in a PowerPoint presentation. All of you who have uh, um, you know, um, uh, BTC companies know how that works. It's quite painful, exactly. slow. So this yeah, is yeah. a, a one-stop solution uh, for all of you. Fantastic. So what do, you, yeah, what do you think of the main things that companies are getting wrong today when they're doing brand tracking? Is it the slow speed that's the, the biggest pain they have? It's a lot of things. It's a lot of things. Uh, the first thing is that you, you, it's very difficult to get these niche target groups, these yeah. small ones. You can get like overall trends over a month or quarter. Yeah. But you, you, it's very hard to drill down. So people who are used to the Google Analytics type of approach to, to measuring the effectiveness yeah. of your marketing spend, I mean, this is just not enough. Right? This is this this doesn't this doesn't the results are not statistically significant. It's it's simply uh, it's not enough. And then when you get a PowerPoint uh, a month uh, after you've done that, it's it, you know uh, yeah. it's not the word that we that we should operate in when it comes to brand. I mean, brand is such an important uh, component of the success of any uh, consumer product uh, already and growing so in the future. It distinguishes companies. It's, it's tremendously important, tremendously powerful, uh, and not being able to have good analytics on that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, consumer spending is how much? 40 trillion globally, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And having a core component of what, what shifts this, this spending, not being able to accurately measure it is, yeah, yeah. is a disaster, right? Particularly when your brand perception changes so fast now. And an agent exactly, and then new startups yeah. coming in, disrupting the Unilevers and PNGs of the world yeah, yeah. Um, with innovative things. They don't see it coming. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah, 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 it's yeah, quite yeah. fascinating. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, very cool. So yeah, no, I think you're famous for the, the boat. So um, and you were kind enough to take the Bulletin Berlin <laughs> portfolio on the boat last year. Um, so we took all of our CEOs so as Contentful, Infarm, Frontier Car Group, uh, Wooga. So you, you took us all on the boat and we lived, which was nice. This was great fun. So you see the second picture here. So two years ago, was it two and a half years ago, we came up with this crazy idea of building our own boat to have as, a, as a, a constant thing for the team to meet, to interact. We have over 30 different nationalities at Dahlia uh, with 63 people right now. So it's, 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 it's quite a lot. And building a super, we recruit very international and building a, a super strong team yeah. is really important. Anyone who's in the, in the B2B space selling information, it's a long game, right? So it's not, it's yeah. not like in the consumer space where you just increase your Google ad spend and you, 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 you yeah. do this. I mean, you, you're really in for the long term and you need to build a very strong team of experts and then keep them there. So this is a very important part of what we do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the boat building was an exercise and then it, it's, it's so much fun. Um, that we're actually right now building a second one, okay. uh, because the team grew and the yeah. first one doesn't yeah, fit yeah, everyone. Cool team, yeah. okay. <laughs> so here in the middle you see the second one. So this actually holds over 100 people. It, wow. it can hold 12 tons. Um, okay. It's it's a it's a the, the this one is a, our first one. This is the second one. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. And all of you, you know, you can drop us a note and and come join us for for rides. We use it for the team, but we also always have people uh, join us. It's it's amazing if you kind of take it into the Berlin uh, yeah, sunset. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's really such an incredibly strong um, thing. It's actually the thing that was written about us the most to an extent that I was worried that we would be known as the bold company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is just so... Yeah, 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 fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we could have done with that on Torstrasse last night. Yeah. Given the amount of rain, <laughs> I could have just floated the raft down. It would have been easier. Um, so my partner, Saranga, is, is on your board. I mean, how has he been helpful? Has, it, has he been helpful at all? Is he... Uh, it's, it, it, was, it, was, it was actually amazing. I mean, not just Saranga, but the whole Baldwin team. Yeah. It's, 
it's it's really I've never seen this. I've heard it before mm -hmm. that you know you have a great reputation, but then everyone says this and ev all the VCs say this. But for us, it's really been so incredibly like helpful on all kinds of levels. But maybe the most important thing is the the spirit is there, the trust that you build, where you feel you can be completely open. I mean, every company has challenges, every company has opportunities, and then yeah, yeah. solving this requires this 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 bond of trust, right? This like, okay, here's here's what we want to achieve, and then to to kind of get this input. And this is this is very powerful, very important, but also very rare. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is something that uh, Saranga specifically, but then the whole Borderton team has been incredibly supportive uh, and, and opening doors, um, giving this, you know, giving this support to us. I think trying to create that open environment takes a lot of work, right? To get that level of trust on both sides, you it's can very have a really difficult. frank conversation. It's very difficult. Yeah. It's very difficult. Also, uh, especially in an area with so much uncertainty, mm -hmm. with so much risk, usually, mm -hmm. um, yeah. and so much hype. Yeah. And nice images, like building a genuine trust in yes. this environment, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not it's, easy. It's, it's, very hard uh, it's not easy, it's and this is uh, this is something that also, for me personally, raised the bar a lot for our next funding round. Yes, where we talked to lots of people, but now having seen how important this is to get along well, so as long as on our board, obviously yeah. we have an, an amazing board. Um, w it's incredibly productive. Uh, and this is something that I really want to continue because I see how much value this brings, which is not so tangible, yeah, yeah. but nevertheless, it's incredibly important. Very quickly. And very quickly, what's next for you? Uh, US office, are you kind of, uh, what's the... So we've been blessed being in a, in a B2B space where when things work, they work really well. Uh, in terms of margins, in terms of um, yeah. average no. contract values, Pretty so yeah. w so we've okay. been financially in a very good situation, unusually good situation, uh, growing very rapidly. But nevertheless, towards the end of the year, we are starting to think about opening U.S. offices, uh, expanding, and there's also so much um, opportunity for us to to kind of uh, you know. Uh, speed up even more. We started the year with 30, 38 people. We're now 62, 63. We're adding another 20, 30. Uh, so rapid growth trajectory. So we're now looking for a good partner um, to kind of take to yes. the next step. Uh, we'll take our time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. We have some discussions today and then uh, and then going forward. Uh, but towards the end of the year, we're thinking about doing another round. Fantastic. Nico, thank you very Beautiful. much. Thank you yes. so much. Thank you. Right.